In this class, we are going to learn how to build a ORDS REST API for our Oracle database table in which we will be able to pass the JSON object something like this in the request. So if your requirement is something like this, wherein you want to send the JSON object in the request to the ORDS API and you want to pass the details whatever is available in this JSON request body and insert into the table and make use of this JSON object values in order to execute a SQL query, then this class is for you. So without wasting much time, let's see how to do the same. First of all, I will show you there is a table I have created in my database that is the employee details table. It is having a couple of columns over here that is to hold the employee ID name in the salary. So in order to pass the details that is parsing of JSON object, I have made use of the PLSQL procedure. So at the end of this class, I will tell you other method wherein you can just avoid creating the packages and the procedure and straight away within the module handler or in the template handler, you can write your SQL query to parse the JSON object. So let me just first of all run this package that is a specification of the package wherein I'm having three fields that is to pass the employee ID name and the salary and the output is the JSON object. Now coming to the procedure body, let me just run this. Here what I'm doing is I'm making use of this JSON object T that is in order to send the response back that is in the P out. So that I'm assigning over here. Now the best thing is the insert statement that I've written over here. If you want, you can add the commit statement as well. So in my case, whenever I run the SQL statements like the insert delete, it will be auto committed. Here in the insert statement, I'm straight away referring to the input variable. Suppose if you want to assign to local variable and then map, we can do that as well. So that's it. This is the simple procedure or the package. Let me just commit the changes. Now coming to the main part that is the defining ORDS template module and the handler. So this is the ORDS enabling schema part. So in this statement, we are enabling the schema that is for the admin schema level over here in the database, wherever I am having this table component. Same thing you can do by clicking over here and enabling the REST data services. All those things we had seen in our earlier classes, how to make use of SQL developer as well as the SQL developer web. And with the help of this GUI that is graphical user interface, you can do the same like whatever I'm showing over here. Next coming, defining the module. So this is the name of my module and this is the path. So same path I have given over here. That is the employee s2 slash insert. So insert is the template for us where I'm saying we have to insert the details into the database table. So I'm making use of the PLSQL block. Suppose if you want to make use of the common block or you can use the SQL statement as well over here. Let's coming to the source. I'm just calling my package or the procedure over here. And in the request, I'm passing the details, whatever we get in the JSON request. That is like this employee ID name and the salary. Suppose if you refer this as colon body, entire JSON body will be or the payload will be sent to the procedure. In our earlier task, we had sent the same and we had read the JSON array that is the array of objects in the request and we had sent the insert statements of all the employees in a bulk and in one go our ORDS API had inserted the details into the database. So this use case is just for a single employee insertion. Suppose if you want to insert the details of multiple employees into the database then please refer our previous class. At the beginning of this class I had told you suppose if you want to altogether avoid the PLSQL procedure part then you can write your insert SQL statement over here instead of calling the procedure write an insert statement and pass those references in the values when you try to insert the records. So I have demonstrated over here with the help of procedure and the package in your use case if you have the complex iteration or the transactions to do then it's always a better to have a code in the separate files. Let me just run this. Then committing the changes. Now let me just run my insert object record. So at that time, I don't have any records in my database table. Let me just see. Yeah. I'm clicking on this send button. And I'm getting the success message. So all those success messages is because of the PLSQL procedure in that I had hard coded success as status in case of no errors. In case of error, we could see the error description and the error message. Let me just go back to this SQL query and run the query. Now here we will see 121 Raj 3 and the salary is null. Suppose if you give the salary, it will also reflect. So like this, we can read the JSON object details and insert the details into the database table with the help of ORDS REST API. That is wherein we can send the JSON object as a request for our ORDS REST APIs. 